church look like today? Preacher got his hand out, smiles and say for a little bit of money. Your blessing is on. Welcome back to Hunter Logan Unmiked. I am Hunter Logan. This is the start of season four. We're picking up in 2019, May of 2019 to be exact. And I get invited to be a keynote speaker for the Kiwanis Club in Welsh, Louisiana, which is a town about 10 miles west of Jennings, dead off I-10 as well. Now, I've never been invited to be a keynote speaker before for a Kiwanis Club or any club or organization. And there was an article done by the Lake Charles American Press about some of the awards that we had won and going back and forth to Nashville. Remember, we had been traveling quite a bit. And we've won some awards. So they had seen the article and invited me to come speak. And quite honestly, I was quite happy to. It was a chance to talk about the radio station and what we were doing to another community that was in our parish. I remember it was raining really bad. And I'm like, man, I got to go and it is pouring down raining. But they were going to feed me for lunch, so you know me. Now I'm going to drive over there and get some lunch. I get over there. I meet the gentleman. And he said, we're going to do our minutes and, you know, take care of business. Then you'll have about 15, 20 minutes, usually. I said, okay. He said, just tell a little bit about the station. If you want, you can take a couple of questions. I'm like, fine. So I give a little spill about what we're doing, which is really easy. I brought an award. I pass it around. The latest one that I'd won. I think that's the one that was in the paper. And they're asking questions. So I'm answering them. And they just keep asking questions. And I just keep answering them. And the guy says, listen, folks, we have to go. We can have Mr. Logan come back if you'd like and answer some more questions. But we've used up all our time. They were really interested in the radio station, which I thought was really good. They didn't call me back, so I guess they weren't that interested. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, I stayed afterwards and answered more questions, but people were genuinely uh, interested about the radio station at that point in time. And I'm sure we gained some listeners from that meeting. But it was really good to get involved in part of the community that I hadn't gotten involved in yet. Through that, I met one of the pastors at a Methodist church in actually Lake Charles, where the article was done from the Lake Charles American Press. And he came by the station, toured the station, and really liked it. And I'm assuming he still listens. I talked to him about getting his sermons on the station, but they weren't in a position to even record their sermons at all at the time. And to be quite honest, I've lost contact since then. So much has happened. So much has went on since then. So I really enjoy being a keynote speaker. And I'm like, man, I'm up for some more of these. And I'm ready to do that. But that is the last time I've spoken anywhere for the radio station as a keynote speaker of any kind. But I'm not opposed to doing it. I'm really not. Now we move on to June 2019. And my buddy Brent Harrison is settling in as the worship leader at church in the country in Texas. He gives me a call and says, hey, man. He says, hey, we got the new church at Sam Rayburn. I'm leading worship there on Saturdays and, of course, Sundays at the main church in Woodville. But I need a lead guitar player. Nick's taking off. Would you come play lead for us? I said, absolutely, man. I'd love to. So I'm going to play lead guitar for Brent Harrison Saturday at Sam Rayburn and then Sunday at Church in the Country in Woodville. Plus, I'm going to get to stay at the Winaway Bed and Breakfast. Love that place. You hear me talk about it. You've heard me talk about it in previous podcasts. My good old friends there, Dave and Susie Wynn. And they just treat you like family. You feel like family when you get there. I can't say enough about that bed and breakfast. And it's just a phenomenal place. I'm amped up, ready to go. 
I told Roy, I said, hey, guess what? Brent called. We're going to go to Sam Rayburn. We're going to play lead guitar there Saturday night, and then we're going to go play Sunday for him. I said, we get to stay at the win away. It's a win-win. She said, oh, man, that's cool. I'm ready. We loaded up, went to Sam Rayburn, played some music over there, and they're still in the process of setting this campus up, this church. Now, it's been, well, like I said, this was June of 2019. So I've seen pictures since. This church has been totally revamped, and it's fine. Now, they were just in the stages of putting it together when we were there. And it's been growing, and it's doing well, and it's in a great location right there on the lake. But they have their own worship band there now. And Brent Harrison has done a great job. He went in there and revamped the whole praise team at Church in the Country in Woodville and put one together, Sam Rayburn. He's over both of them. He's done worked it out to where he's doing two bands. He takes care of the main church in Woodville and then the Sam Rayburn Church, which is a daughter work or sister work, sister church. He's got another band, Nick, leads that one, if I'm not mistaken, who was the guy I filled in for, which is a phenomenal guitar player, way better than I am, and a super nice guy and a good Christian man. Can't say enough about Nick. Really, really like him. Just a super, super dude. Helpful. Just nice. Just a great guy. Fun to be around too, man. Just good people. Good people. Brent's got a good team over there. But I really enjoyed being able to do that. I think at the time, I had my gold strat. I believe I had the gold strat and I brought that with me and played that, if I ain't mistaken which I don't have anymore. I liquidated all my guitars down to just the ones I play. And that's all I have, which is a good thing. So June would bring me back to church in the country, playing lead guitar for Brent Harrison once again. And then after I would do that, I would head out to Nashville again to go do Sunday morning country at the Grand Ole Opry. Now, this was great because... My good friend, Melanie Walker, who I dearly love. Remember, in a previous podcast, I forget which one it was, but if you remember, T.K. Brown was at Sunday Morning Country, and me and Steve Robertson were in Nashville, and he'd never got to go to the Opry before. And T.K.'s mom called me and said, Hunter, why don't you come back to the Opry and cover some of this for us? And I did. So we went to the Opry. Steve got to see backstage. Melanie was interviewing. She interviewed me. And then she said, hey, next year, won't you come and cover this? And I'm like, sure, if you'll let me know ahead of time, I will. So we got into town a few days early. And we were going to do some interviews for HLE Radio. And we had the banner, had it set up in the hotel. Melanie Walker came. We interviewed her. And she brought a few friends with her. We interviewed, and I am so bad with last names, but we interviewed Tim, and he was the piano player for the Opry for 20-some-odd years, and he was going out on his own. In fact, he did a show with T. Graham Brown here on Facebook a while back where he was playing piano for him. I can't think of his last name. Also... Marty Robbins, longtime guitar player. Well, first he was with Tom Paul Glazier and then with Marty Robbins. Cowboy, man, I can't think of the name. I want to say Dan, but I'm not sure. But he'd go by Cowboy, and it was a name. And I have his picture on the wall in here. But I was, we interviewed him. And I could have listened to him all night long because he was telling me road stories about him and Marty Robbins, about places they would go, things that happened on the road. And I'm a, you want to keep my attention? Man, road stories, I'm a sucker for them. I will sit there and listen till the cows come home. I just love them. 
because so much stuff happens on the road, especially for musicians traveling like that. And back in the olden days when they were doing it, oh my goodness, it was just such rich history of real country music. And I couldn't believe that I was able to be there and soak that stuff up. The stories, oh my goodness. To be around country music royalty like that. I mean, this guy had been with Marty Robbins since the beginning. Played on all his records. It's amazing. And we got to interview them. Well, before that Sunday where we went. I think that was Saturday night. It might even been Friday night because we came in a couple of days early. Now, we went to the Opry. We were backstage set up. And they had some other radio stations there too. But I had a glitch in my setup. And I can't remember I had the wrong wire or I had the wrong connection. Something had happened. And I had to send Royland all over Nashville to find the connection I needed. And I remember it halfway worked and halfway didn't. So we got to broadcast half of it and something or another. It, the broadcast part of it didn't go very well. But the rest of everything else went very well. And that was a wonderful time. Doing Sunday morning country. The Grand Ole Opry. Well, I'm going to have to leave it there for right now. But I want to tell you. This next episode coming up, episode two of season four, this is probably going to be one of my all-time favorite episodes because I'm going back to Nashville and it talks about when I find the 1962 original Dove that I'd been searching for for three and a half years and I finally get to play it. But that's going to be on the next episode. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sticking with me. Check me out on Choice Social if you haven't done it yet. It's free. I'm always doing little videos on there. I do a lot more on there than I do on Facebook and Twitter. If you haven't checked me out on the morning show, do that. I'm live every morning, Monday through Friday, hleradio.com, 7 to 9 a.m. Central Time. You download our app, it's free, or you can catch it online. HellyRadio.com. We're on TuneIn, too. We're supposed to be on Roku. They keep changing this stuff. We're supposed to be up and running before long. If you got any questions or comment, email me. Hunter at HLERadio.com. I'll be happy to answer them. As always, stay cool. I love you. Remember, Duke 28 and 2. I'll see you next time. Yeah!